Andrew and Kelly met playing hockey on the Reading hockey team when they were about eight years old. The two managed to stay close, even though they went to different middle schools, different high school. Kelly accompanied Andrew to his freshman formal at St. John's Prep, and the connection was clear to everyone, despite the notorious awkward prom photo, which if you haven't seen that yet, looked a little bit like this. <laughs> which brings us to today, the first day of the rest of your lives together as husband and wife. I, Andrew, take you, Kelly, to be my wife. I, Kelly, take you, Andrew, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you. And honor you all the days of my life. I first had the pleasure of meeting Andrew in high school. I was a freshman and he was a senior. And I immediately knew I liked him. He would drive me home every day and save me from having to do homework every day till five o'clock. Honestly, it didn't occur till recently, was Andrew doing this out of the kindness of his heart or was he trying to score points to Kelly? I knew Andrew was the one for Kelly when all of a sudden her Harry Potter paraphernalia started coming out of the cupboard. For years, it's been locked beside her bed, and it would only come out when she knew no one but immediate family would be over. Now, she has sweatpants, sweatshirt, throw pillow blanket. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, we are so happy for you. Thank you for including both of us on one of the biggest nights of your life, and we love you both. Kelly and Andrew, you both look beautiful, and we're so happy for both of you. Andrew, welcome to the family. Before I end, I need to tell Andrew, happy birthday. <laughs> when we were booking the dates, Andrew said, 1717, it couldn't be a better day, that's my birthday. And there's not a better way I want to share it than with Kelly. <laughs>